All right, welcome back. So in the last video, we showed you how to take your files and start tracking them. We put them in these staging areas. So they went from a status of being red and untracked, untracked, to being green and ready to be committed. So the question is, how do we get it out of the staging area and into the actual Git repository? And this is the point where we're actually creating the snapshot. So how do we create a snapshot? The first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and clear out this workspace here, this terminal. And we'll check the status of what's going on. Okay, so it's just like it was before. It says, hey, we've got this new file, readme.md, and it's ready to be committed. And it tells us, hey, if you want to unstage this file, you can use git rm dash dash cached and then the file. But we'll worry about that later. What we want to do is we want to take the file from the staging area and commit it to the git repository. So we want to create our first snapshot. So all you have to do is say git commit and then dash m. And what dash m is is a flag. And this allows us to then indicate that we want to write a message. And the message is going to be kind of a reference for us so that we know that this snapshot did X or Y or Z. So when we type git commit dash M and then in quotations, we're going to write a little short brief message about what this snapshot is. So the syntax, the convention for this rather, is to use a present tense verb as the very first word and then following that a short description so if we just added something we'll say add and then whatever it is so we'll say add readme.md simple right now you can close your quotation and hit enter all right so if everything goes how it's supposed to you'll get a little message here that says master root commit and some letters and numbers add readme.md that was that message that we created and it says there's one file changed eight insertions create mode some more numbers readme.md so as long as it's not yelling at you about any errors we know that everything's working but let's go ahead and use get status like we always do to see what our current status is it says you're on branch master nothing to commit working directory clean so that's perfect. That means that we've just committed from the staging area anything that we had in there, and in this instance, that was our readme.md, to the Git repository. So now we actually want to see the history of what snapshots we've created so far. So how do we do that? Well, simply type git log. And git log will show you a nice little history of all of your snapshots or your commits. So it even tells you, okay, the author is Naxet, that's my username, my email, and then the date, and then down here is the message, add readme.md. And then up here, it gives you this long uh, combination of letters and numbers, and we'll talk more about what that is later. But basically, as we make more commits and have more snapshots, we're gonna have a nice history every time we type git log and that history is gonna include all of these commit messages and those commit messages will help us identify what's going on. And this is especially useful whenever we're sharing code with other members of a team or with employers and so on and so forth. They can see, okay, this is where they did this, this is where they did that. And it's also useful for us later on down the line if we wanna come back and do something to our code long after we've put it into Git. So to review, if you want to move files from the staging area into the git repository with a commit, the command is git commit dash m for message and then inside of quotations, and it doesn't matter if they're single or double, as long as they're matching on either side, you're going to type a present tense verb and then a description of what that snapshot is and then make sure that you have your closing quotation and you can hit enter.